three geo only videos in a row hope you guys like geo only and if you don't well uh too bad you see in the last episode i was mentioning how we might want to use fragile resin soon since we have every level of every domain unlocked and today um I don't really have a way to actually show you the day it is in the game. Hold up. Hold, I, I could do uh, I could do this and then this. And look, look, Sunday. Sunday's right there. I can click it. That means it's one of those three days. But then I can also come in here and click this one, proving that it is Sunday. I don't know why I need to prove that it's Sunday. But with our 51 fragile resin, I thought it might be kind of fun to go ahead and try to get all of my talents up to level 8 for all of our characters potentially including Ito, although now I'm realizing that weekly bosses are going to be an issue. So then at least level six. And there is a new event, apparently. I did go ahead off camera and finish up the current event that we were working on last time. So we do have a couple primos. I'm still just going to keep dumping these into the weapon banner and hoping that we can get a little lucky. So today, the goal is massive progress in terms of farming for stuff. And then also, you know, the new event and potentially a new weapon like this one. Not that one. Like this one. Okay, it is purple. I'll take a purple. Purple is... I really... Can you stop giving me Dragon's Bane? I know it is in Yoon Jin's signature art, but we got four of them. I'm not using them. Can you kind of get the message? Our only time constraint is that in six hours, it is no longer Sunday. So maybe today... I focus on the farming and then tomorrow I can do some more of the event stuff. And to start out, I think I already have enough of these just for Ningguang. So I don't need to farm those. I don't have enough of these though. That means first up are the philosophies of diligence. Now the only downside to doing a ton of domain farming for a video is that 95% of it gets cut out. Although on the bright side, between now having condensed resin and a stronger team, farming these domains isn't that bad. So I imagine the damage I get on this account is probably going to be less than a regular account. But even just using her burst, it's for 21k there. And then obviously her skill does good damage. Before we head back to Diligence Domain, I do want to check just to see how much we can craft. And it is quite a lot. So I don't think we need to farm that anymore. Look, I somehow, somehow forgot that weekly boss drops were a thing. In my head, during this video, we were gonna get everyone's talents up to level eight. Now, ideally, you know, I would still love to do that. And since tomorrow is a new week in the game, that means I can farm a couple more boss drops. Also, I just realized I went to town to make condensed resin and then didn't make condensed resin. Would it be stupid to use some of my fragile resin on boss drops for Ito? Because it's an idea that I came up with, the answer is probably yes. But when you think about it, you know, the point of fragile resin is to use it. If I just save it forever, then I'm wasting it. Just like when I play any game, if there's a one-time consumable that's kind of hard to come by, I never use it. Because I will always save it for the perfect moment that never comes. I was about to say maybe that would be enough of the light farming, but then I remembered that Goro uses the same thing, so we need to go make some more condensed resin. Ah, that's so unfortunate too, because I do not like farming in that domain. But thanks to all that time when we couldn't make condensed resin, we have plenty of crystal cores to use. If we need some mob drops we might even jump into co-op because now that's an option for us so specters we might need to go in co-op actually even for beetles we might need to go into co-op i am going to skip the traveler's talents right now because they always need different books and that gets a little confusing so i will deal with that later but for now oh this domain sucks doesn't it look maybe it won't be that bad because i have a lot of oh i need i need resin but we have so much geo which means lots of cryo crystallized shields and so maybe this won't be terrible that's a, a very big maybe. Oh, this might actually be a somewhat decent time to tell you guys. I've said it numerous times on live streams, but I know not everyone can make it to those. In mid-April, so next month, I am going to be in Japan for like two to three-ish weeks, including travel. So... If suddenly on the- I forgot more things spawned. But if suddenly on the channel, you start seeing a lot of videos that seem to be outdated in a sense, like old banners and whatnot, that's because it was filmed in advance so that I could post them while I'm gone. That also means to expect a lot of content on the main account because I can't really pre-record spells or geo-only videos. But yeah, just think of it as like a blast from the past. I still fully expect to see comments asking, wait, why is that banner up? Is this an old video? But at least some of you guys should now know what's going on. 
on. With a bit of crafting though, we were able to get 25 philosophies of resistance, which will be enough to bring all of these up to level eight. And so in terms of talent materials, that only leaves the Traveler, Goro, and Ito. I really do forget how the Traveler works with this. So right now, the burst needs prosperity. If I level the burst, it... Okay, it does change. Okay, so if I level the normal attack, which was ballads, does that change? Yes, it does. But we have enough philosophies of freedom to cover that. So I just need some gold and then a couple more prosperity, perhaps, for Ning Wong. I get what they were doing with making the Traveler kind of need everything, both for, like, lore reasons and also for ease of farming. But it really does make it kind of confusing. I'm also so sad because I just realized... We're pretty much spending all of this time in two domains. We did take a little trip to the Mondstadt one, but it's either this one with all the really annoying samurai enemies, or this one with the Fatui agents that dish out a ton of damage. And now it's not that it's too difficult, because you know, I am a uh, extremely skilled player, of course. It just does get a little repetitive to farm the same domain over and over. Although I guess that's kind of what artifact farming is anyways, and I would rather do that, which doesn't make sense. Maybe because there's that false hope that you might actually get something good. Whereas here, you kind of know what you're going to be getting. Except for those few times you get really lucky and get two golds. Those always feel nice. Oh, look at that 31 second clear time. That is definitely a new record for this account. I did see some people joking about it in the comments and I'm, I've thought about it myself. There is a reality that exists where this account 36 stars the Spiral Abyss before spells only. And that possibility is like, it's funny, but it's also scary. I also just realized that I zoned out while farming in there i was only supposed to spend like two condensed resin and i spent five uh that's an oopsies however now we can level up lumine's skill one more time and oh you need this stupid you know what maybe it was a good thing i farmed in there now i'm gonna need six more prosperities i have exactly enough right now for ningguang can i craft six more oh Okay, I take back everything I said. I knew exactly what I was doing the whole time. Me zoning out was just all part of my plan. I guess that means Goro's up next, although... That's reminded me, I have to farm bosses to ascend him. Or, hear me out, I just go in and I farm a ton of the teachings and philosophies of light. You know, I kind of consider these domains a necessary evil. Because obviously, if we want to have good, strong characters and teams, we kind of have to farm them, but they are, um... Uh, evil especially this one in particular and now that i said that i am fully within my rights to label this episode a necessary evil oh we got the two let's try to be smart about this we only need nine of the teachings of light for goro so i can craft all of them except for nine into guides of light and layla pops off but then if we don't worry about the normal attack and we craft enough saving some of the guides of light for his skill and burst we get 31 philosophies 37 philosophies Feast of Light. Somebody give Layla a raise? Oh, wait. Chiori would need 20 Philosophies of Light to get both of these to 8. And then Goro would also need 20 if we don't care about the normal attack. And as we can see, we have 46, which means we actually would have enough. I guess that just leaves Mr. Ito. And I don't think I have ever farmed Elegance because I had no reason to. So back into the same domain. I cannot tell you how many excuses my brain is trying to cook up to get me out of having to farm this domain right now. But I just have to keep reminding myself of how nice it'll feel once I have all of these characters at level 8 talents. I mean, that's more than spells or swords only could say that they have. And yes, I know it's completely useless, but at some point I am still going to go ahead and get Goro's normal attack leveled up. It bothers me too much seeing 188 as the talents. But since it's not a priority, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just wondering, does this bother anyone besides just me because i do not like that that took a lot longer than i thought it was going to it took a lot more fragile resin than i thought it would but we have enough of all of the everythings of elegant not like elegance where ito could have all of his talents brought up to level eight if i had everything else that he needs which i clearly don't because i haven't even ascended him yet oh wait i i have this i can do this i actually can ascend him and start leveling some of his talents oh 
Wait, I can actually ascend him again. Although this does show us that we are desperately going to need to farm some ley lines. Or, or maybe the new event will give us some XP books. Now for Ito, I do plan on leveling all of his talents. I'd say the skill is the least important, but I still want to level them all anyways. And thank goodness he uses slime, which as far as I uh, can remember, no other Geo character uses that. So we shouldn't run into too many issues. Well, besides XP and Mora, leveling up talents always drains. More. Oh, oh, I can actually uh, send him again because I have enough boss drops. If I can craft uh, three chunks and somehow find 21 of the beetles, the three chunks, I'm not worried about at all. However, 21 beetles when I only find like eight each time I go looking for them is, this is not going to be too easy. But of course, like I said earlier, we can use co-op if we so need to. In fact, I'm taking this seriously. I just went ahead and I opened up the interactive map. Yeah, yeah, that's right. These beetles can't hide from me anymore. Oh, and if you want to see the damage to our fragile resin supply, we are now at 21. And I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure we were around 51 when we started. But I would say it was definitely worth it. Of course, it would feel a lot more worth it if I was able to get all those talents up to level 10, but I definitely do not have enough resin for that. Though on the bright side, at least we did glitch our way to Inazuma while we could. I, I think the glitch might still work, but I'm not certain because if I didn't do that, then we would have what three characters that I wouldn't even be able to level up. Why must so many of these beetles be locked behind really long world quests? However, even with that being the case, I think think we should. Yes, we do indeed have enough to ascend Ito again. Although I don't have enough to level him up. Though that is fine, because at least I can start leveling up the talents again. And uh, just like that, they're all at level 6. Ooh, cheeky little standard banner 4 star. And we actually, uh, we I mean, we can use it. At least it's not a non-geo character. But am I going to be putting Widsith on a healer Ningguang? Well, no, because then she's not a healer. But it is definitely the best catalyst that we've gotten. Hey, if we ever want to make a DPS Ning Wong, now we got the weapon for it. Since it is getting pretty late, I'm going to go around and farm up all the specters that I can, and then I think tomorrow I will start on that event. So I will see you then. And we are back. I just finished up a live stream where for some of it, I went into other people's worlds to gather specter drops, the pearls in Watatsumi, and also the beetles. And now we do have enough pearls to max out Goro. Ito, I didn't get all all of the beetles. I mean, we need like uh, 40, 40 more something. I don't know. Actually, no, we only need 20 more, but I figure we're not maxing him right now anyways, so we could just wait on that. It was also brought to my attention during that live stream that this event, uh, we're not going to get very far in it. Apparently, it's one of those events where you only use trial characters and there are no geo characters available, which means no primo gems for us. Isn't that just wonderful? So regarding our uh, progress towards trying to get one of these, these weapons. I can do one pull and it's going to be blue. Yeah, as expected. I, I, I don't see this going well anymore. On the bright side, like we said, this shop will reset before the banners do, but I was really banking on getting some primo gems from that event. Well, anyways, there goes the whale. Hoping to see three drops, two drops. Did you guys know that two is in fact not three. Now that I told you guys that, I could probably mark this as educational content because I'm sure no one knew that already. Next on the chopping block will be Senora, who I'm sure is going to give us three drops. No way would she only give two. Oh, we were so close to killing her before Pyronado. She got away on like one HP. And you know what rhymes with one HP? Three, which means we're going to get three drops. We did not get three drops. Look, game, if you're not going to get me three drops, you could at least give us a dream solvent. Come on, Andreas, you're my last hope. Surely you can give us three drops or at least a dream solvent. Um, two drops, no dream solvent. All right, well, guess we gotta wait for next week. As much as it feels like a waste to spend 60 resin doing a weekly boss, I really need the drops and I don't want to have to wait week to week. So I guess we're gonna be dropping 60 resin on the ball in here. On the bright side, he's probably the easiest weekly boss. Come on, three. This time three. Two and no dream solving. Poyoverse, why do you hate me? What did I do to you? You know, I was just gonna save the dream solvents, but honestly, what's the point of saving them? The whole point is to spend them. So we will go ahead and use those. With three of them, we should be able to max out Yunjin's talents for the time being. So skill is maxed out, and then normal attack, I know 
We don't really need it. Shush. It bothers me if I don't do it. So normal attack is also level eight. For Ning Wang, I can get her burst up to level... Oh, I'm at a Mora. Oh, oh, that's fun. You know, maybe that new event will give us Mora. Oh, wait, we can't do it. You know, in my head, when this episode was over, I expected to be able to open up the character menu, go in here and have all of these talents at eight across the board for all these characters plus have them leveled up and ascended the two things i forgot to take into account were uh one mora two xp books and actually there is a third and number three are the weekly boss drops actually we can go get a little bit of mora since the week did reset we could do our leeway reputation to both work towards the glider and get some mora there's request number one request number two and request number three and might i say that i cannot wait until i am done with bounties and monster and leeway Ooh, level four reputation we are halfway to the glider i just found a random chest that i hadn't opened and you know what that means another blue oh hey look who it is it's the unusual hillitrill right in the middle of my bounty request oh oops did i hit it oh my bad i didn't mean to complete accident he just happened to get in the way of my attacks quest clear so that is all of the weekly reputation stuff complete oh boy if i open up our book we could see that the two things we need to do are complete uh whatever this is that it doesn't let me just open and then also 18 shrines of depths oh it just wants me to beat Devalin on the third difficulty i mean i already beat it on the highest but i guess we gotta do this now and then we'll get into the potential issue with the other quest wow that was uh that was very difficult. Give me my free XP. So the only spot that I know to get another key for a shrine is in here. Actually, there's two keys in there. And then the other key I know of is in this place at the bottom. Now, we already know that this one in Mondstadt we can't do because there's an Electro Monument and literally no way for me to apply that with Electro. But then to get into the other domain for the two keys in Leeway, as you can see here, we need Pyro. Now, I think you can already see where this is going. I'm going to plop down a portable waypoint. And let me just say, I found my new least favorite thing to farm in this game, and it's not the beetles. To craft a portable waypoint, you need two fireflies. I just spent literally 20 minutes trying to find any. I had to go look up a guide to show me where they were, and even with that, I only got enough for one portable waypoint. That is not a fun process. So I'm really hoping that this works, because if I just wasted my time doing that, it's really gonna suck. But we got the burning. We don't have the burning anymore. Don't you dare tell me that I'm going to need three portable waypoints directly on top of those stupid monuments. That is not what I want to hear. Except that seems to be the case, because I can't even move before before the dendro wears off actually we have never tested if this even works on monuments oh boy all right now uh, let's give it one more try and then i guess i'm already going to have to go find some more fireflies come on you can do it i believe in you game i believe in you you okay oh <gasps> it does work so it seems a little rng based but it is working also instead of just teleporting away from this right away i'm giving it a second to really let that burning set in let's see we're on fire very cool we wait for dendro wait no no not yet not yet dendro burning cool or i guess the hot because it's fire and then we come here we hopefully don't die oh we're so close there's the dendro if you would be so kind as to shoot me like a so we get the burning and then bada bing bada boom we oh i think i think that i did that i disagree with the game on that one i had dendro when i touched the monument this time for sure no way do we mess it up again let me run let me run let me run and easy so easy now we can go ahead and proceed to get our keys silly little game you thought you could lock me out of this there's the level 61 done as well as the level 71 done now we get to go and claim our primos hello shrine of depth i would very much appreciate all of your primo gems and once again give me the primos that's another chapter in the book complete and actually that's the last chapter in the book complete two whole wishes come on come on you could give it game 
game, you can give it to me. I won't tell anyone at Hoyoverse. I won't let them know that you gave me a gold, but you're still not giving me a gold. Well, I might not be able to do this quest, but just by talking to this man, I can get 10,000 Mora. Then just to confirm, uh, no Geo. Oh, oh, you, you can't even go to the others without completing the first. Okay. Yeah. So we just can't do this. I think we do have enough Mora to level up this and then hopefully yes we have enough we got shiori's burst up to level eight as much as i don't want to i think i'm gonna have to spend some time farming ley lines in my defense in the last episode i said we were gonna work on finishing up chiori which for the most part she is because we don't have to do the normal attack right now and then i said ito would come next which i mean he's 666 and all we're missing is mora and weekly boss drops and goro well he's all level ones even though i do have enough of everything to get these talents probably up to level eight it's just i don't have the resin and i don't want to spend the fragile resin to get his boss drops but as we can see we are making pretty good progress on this account if only resin wasn't in such short supply now i would love to do more but i gotta get this episode out to you guys so next episode we are definitely taking a trip through that wormhole behind us but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed and as always i will see you all next time